Hello Ronnie, how's it going? I need to borrow you for a little bit. Not long. Let's try that again. I'm gonna make it there big guy. <laughs> you and your holdering issues. I know. It's a rough life, isn't it? Some childhood trauma just never goes away. Hey, it just doesn't go away. Come on, buddy. Hey, right, buddy. Good morning, everybody. We've got Zeus here. He's uh, he's just come out for some fresh air to come hang out while I drink a coffee. But today we're going to talk about Roni. I've had a few requests, I guess coincidental uh, comments that have come through from a couple of people. One person who said that Roni is her absolute favorite and she really connects well with him as a horse. And another who says, you know, you keep mentioning you're going to talk about Roni, you should. <laughs> so, I will. Today I will. Right? What are you looking at? There's nothing over there, man. You must smell something though. Probably some deer. So let's get on with the morning and uh, see about capturing Roni up and we've got to give him a trim today. So uh, I'll probably talk a little bit about that as we do it. Let's say hi to Mocha. She's always just staring at me over the fence. Hello, Momo. They're so adorable. How's it going? Momo actually really likes pears and our pear tree is full of pears. So we have a ladder here to capture them. So let's uh, actually just take a couple from the ground. Grab this one. And uh, this looks like a good one. Yeah, they just fall off the ground. So, oh, there's another big one. Actually, that one. Maybe that one's for me. I'll put that on the trampoline. Yeah, I know. I've got a pear. She always gets so excited. She loves it when I go pick up pears. Oh. Yep. Carefully. Crunch it. Good oh, girl. She loves pears. Nice. Oh, you got the whole thing now. All right, well. Give it a chomp. <laughs> Into the water. No, well, now she's bobbing for pears. And let's go give them the other one to Annie. I'll get pears for the rest in a bit. There you go, Annie. Here. Okay, this is not a video about the two babies. Let's um, let's get on with a couple things and then I'm gonna go get Roni. We'll bring him up here and we'll give him a good groomings and trimmings. Okay, we're off to get Roni. Notice my finely manicured arena. <laughs> Did a massive cleanup of this thing, grading and all that kind of stuff. So it's set up for a little while. Good to do, a couple times a year outside of normal harrowing. So let's go get Roni. He's just over here. Hey buddy. Hello Roni. How's it going? I need to borrow you for a little bit. Not too long. Let's try that again. I'm gonna make it there big guy. <laughs> You and your holdering issues. I know. It's a rough life, isn't it? Some childhood trauma just never goes away. Hey, it just doesn't go away. Come on, buddy. As you can see, Roni's a good little follower. He sort of keeps a little ahead of me. I'd like him to not be so far ahead, but he's pretty good. I'm not going to complain. Okay, we've arrived at our grooming location. 
got uh, some hay for Roni here because that's just a nice thing to do. And we're gonna give him a bit of a grooming while I talk about him. Hey buddy. So let's, <laughs> let's talk about Roni. And uh, everybody's chittering for him right now. A little bit of talking. Um, Roni is a quarter horse. For one, he's about 12, I think, 12 or 11. He's been here now for, well, pretty much the whole time I've owned the place, which is seven years. Hey, buddy. You see, Roni's got a really special feature about him, is he loves to check in. So once in a while, if I get, you know, do, doing something and he feels like he needs to check in with me, he'll quickly kind of pop his nose over like that, and he'll do a quick check, and then he'll just go back to doing his thing. It's one of the things I really like about him. And it really doesn't matter what we're doing. We could just be walking around, I could just be hanging out next to him, and he'll want to do that check-in. Anyway, I've digressed from telling a bit of his history to talking about his behaviors. Check. Oh boy. Um, so, he's been here for pretty much the whole time. The reason uh, we got him is when I first moved here, I only had Luke and Luke, I didn't want him to be alone. And I thought, well, I better get another horse. So we're looking around, looking around. I thought, well, I'll get a horse that I can have a bit as a project. Check. Good boy. And, um, and sell. <laughs> so Ronnie was destined for sales one day and he's a you know, full blooded quarter horse with papers, which I've lost. I don't know where they are. And um, I thought, well, I could work with him. He's not, he's not completely finished. The person who, who owns him, go check there, um, says she was all done with working on him and she is a barrel racer. So she was trying to get him to barrel race and said that his brother was really good or his half brother, I guess, but he wasn't. I found out later from somebody else that he had uh, issues. And so I guess he was kind of a pain in the butt. He wasn't cooperating exactly as a uh, girl wanted. And so, yeah. So she sold him to me. He's the highest cost horse I've ever purchased myself at uh, 2000 bucks. And when he first came here, he had extensive rain rot, which I eradicated as, me as fast as I could. And since then, it's never been back. I could digress again briefly of what I think causes rain rot. Um, and I think it's primarily that uh, horses don't get uh, cared for effectively when blanketed. So the blanket doesn't allow a horse to scratch and, and roll. A lot of questions come in of why do my horses roll? Why do any horses roll? And the answer is, well, they love scratching their back and cleaning off their skin. The sand is a great place to do it. The um, hog fuel that some places have is definitely not a good place to do it. Um, full of all kinds of little slivers and stuff. Things that can kind of get into the skin. Sand is a fantastic cleaner. And it's usually clean itself. Sand doesn't stay dirty like, like, uh, hog fuel does. So anyways, I'm rambling. You guys maybe put up with a rambling video today. Hey buddy. <laughs> um, so, where was I? So yeah, so when he came here, he was gonna be a companion for Luke and they turned out to be best buddies, which was fantastic. And then I got word about Lena and she was an unwanted, Horse that somebody got uh, leased to somebody who didn't want him or who didn't want her. And uh, I said, well, all right, Let's see what she's like. I feel like I'm going to help her out. And so then we got Lena. So it's kind of funny because Lena came right after Rony. I really didn't need to get Rony. Could have been just Lena. But here he is. So being a quarter horse, he was kind of being trained and worked up to hello. Um, some people are going to think it's the brush that's doing it. It's not. He'll check in with me no matter what. Um, 
and bred for barrel racing. Yeah, but he just didn't turn out to be. There we go, see? He always checks them. Didn't work out. So he's here. So then I just started sort of riding him. We all kind of rode him actually. He's had quite a few people on his back here, which is a bit of a testament to the previous person able to uh, get him uh, ridden. I mean, he's a very sensitive creature though. Very sensitive, hypersensitive even. And it's a bit too much. So I've, I'm always working on sort of calming him down and getting him to settle down, not be so anxious. He's a kind of an anxious horse. Although it doesn't appear that way now, he's very calm and collected. He's a good boy. It's a really good horse, that's for sure. So, uh, when riding, he's 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 quite chill. He doesn't doesn't get too worked out about stuff. He doesn't spook too easy. Um, but he's got. I mean, you can see his muscles here. He's got a, a fantastic go and stop. Not that I test it that often. I usually try to stay pretty calm. I'm not looking for excitement when I ride. And a little on your tummy. I think we'll get on with your mane and forelock and tail. And then we'll give you a trim, Roni. What do you say? It's been a little bit. I'm a couple of weeks late, actually. Which isn't the end of the world, but it's definitely not what I strive for. He's got such a beautiful tail. It's coloring in his tail, I'll show you guys. It's gorgeous. It's just this really neat coloring that he's got. And uh, very pretty. It's. Yeah. Anyways, don't need to do too much. Doesn't have too ragged of a tail going on. Just a little bit. Same with his mane. Very interesting colors. Very light up at the top. Comes down to be quite dark. Not long. Doesn't have a long mane at all. But it's healthy. There you go, buddy. A little better. Checks in. Let's come to his other side. Just get this little bit on this side. And he's not a big fan of his forelock being done, but we'll see if we can get something done here. Oh, not bad. He just, when, when he's all brushed out, <laughs> I know, buddy, just be patient. There you go. Good boy. He kind of looks a little goofy, but okay, let's get him trimmed up. So the other part of Roni's story, at least for me, uh, Health-wise for him is his feet um, When he I don't know if he was shod Before me here. I think maybe she had tried but then she took him out of shoes because his feet are One of those horses that or it's types of horses that they're bred um, For things other than feet. So he's got small feet for one and the other thing I think has happened to him is the care he was getting uh, sort of set him up for long-term trouble. And it's really hard, sometimes it's really hard to trim out uh, young age trouble. Trouble? I don't know, like bad, bad cellular patterns, I guess you could say. It's, it's a lot of maintenance, which is why I like, I try not to fall far behind in trimming horses because the more you stick with it the better it can be um, so anyway so I'm gonna get on with trimming him quick story in between trimming his feet <laughs> the first day we got him I had to get him into the trailer and the lady that owned him uh, had this really strange technique to get him into the trailer which just befuddled me at the time and uh, until I sort of went in, I mean, so we have to keep in mind, I actually got Roni when I was reasonably new with horses, reasonably. I mean, I've been doing horse stuff for a couple of years for sure. 
but not nearly as much as I was able to do once I had my own place. So when she was trying, we were trying to get him into the trailer and he wouldn't go, which is really strange because he's probably one of the best trailerable horses that I've got now. And, um, and he wouldn't go in, he wouldn't go in. So she takes him and she starts to back him down her driveway, away from the trailer. Back, 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 back. And it was super strange. And she comes backwards all the way back up and tries to get him in the trailer and he wouldn't go. And so she starts backing him again. And I said to her, I said, I think, I think I'm gonna take it from this point. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that's an effective way. It was, it was very strange. So that's a little bit of Roni's story. I'm gonna continue trimming him. And uh, he's, he's done really well. He's got pretty good feet. It's only, only a little bit of trouble there as I was talking about. Mainly from growing, usually growing sort of excessive bars, kind of like Gracie had a problem with as well, as I've talked about in the past. But overall, you know, I can say a lot of really good about Roni. He's super sweet, as you can see, he sort of just checks in. He's very calm, hangs around. He's a nice ride, although can be kind of jittery. But uh, yeah, overall, it's a fantastic horse. Obviously very good looking, quite smart. And very sensitive. He's a very sensitive soul. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it at that one. If anybody has any extra questions, maybe I can do a part two, but there's not too much to say. More than what I've said, I think. Um, he'll be here for life. He's a lifer, so you'll see a lot more of him over time. I think we should do some riding soon with him. We'll talk about how he rides. So maybe this is just part one. We'll do a part two again soon. And off he goes, just wandering around eating weeds. Okay, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. We have a little deer following us. <laughs> Look at that. Just uh, started following along. What do you think of that, Momo? We just come back to close the gate, and uh, we have a friend. Hmm. Let's close the gate. Still coming. I wonder why. Oh, there it goes. As you can probably tell, it's evening. Not a lot of light. Just seems kind of like it wants to have a friend. Although I know it does have a friend, because this is one of the pear deer. Look at these two. Oh. Hmm.